All right, I want to do a quick video here before I get down from this stand uh, to show you a trick that I found. Um, I started using a linesman rope a couple years ago to hang portable stands and then was interested in saddle hunting but didn't make the jump to that until this year. And it can be a little bit overwhelming um, to get into it because of the price and I'm always one who is wanting to look for a good, safe, cheap as possible way. Um, so obviously a lot of you guys are using uh, rope mans or senders to, to tend your Prusik knots safely. Um, and I had seen some videos of, of ways to kind of home make one um, so that you can have one-handed operation. I'd made this one with a D-loop and paracord. Uh, the D-loop goes around your rope and then the paracord hooks into your carabiner and pushes the Prusik up um, like that. It worked for me. Um, and I was looking up some videos to make another one or maybe kind of tweak it a little bit. And I came across this one video and I cannot remember the guy's name. I'll have to give him credit in the comments, I guess. One little tiny video and I had done a ton of research. Um, but he said you can turn your carabiner into a Prusik tender and I did not believe him, <laughs> but he's right. And so this is, you already have the equipment on your ropes you don't have to buy anything extra. Um, you just have to feed it through a certain way. So I'm gonna show you that now. I've got my linesman on and my tether because I'm getting ready to climb down. So I'll show you on both ropes. Let me show you first the tether um, and how it works because it's already hooked up the right way. And then I'll show you how to hook it up the right way on the linesman. All right, I'm leaning way back off the tree. You can see my tether there. Uh, Prusik knot. Now, watch this. So one-handed, because I'm videoing with the other hand, watch the carabiner slide up against the knot and push it up the rope. Okay? Now, let me get this rope out of the way and show you what to do on my linesman. So this is hooked up normally. Depending on the uh, width of your linesman, the width of your Perusic and what carabiner you have, um, this length may need to be a little different, but you can play around with that. I found that for this application, shorter is better than real long because if it's long, you have to reach way up to put tension on it. So what you're gonna do, you're either going to take, uh, depending on the orientation of your carabiner, you're gonna take your rope and slide it through the carabiner. Slide the tag end through the carabiner because I have it set up right-handed. I'm going through that way, okay? So it's in the carabiner and through, and I've got weight on it, um, I've loosened up my my tether so I've got weight on the linesman and then you're gonna pull and watch that carabiner again go up through and it is really easy I'm having a little harder time with it because I've got uh, you no know, bow in the hand but let me back it off and show you again so here we are slid down the rope brings the carabiner up slides it all the way up one-handed Prusik tending and I have it set up for my right hand if you had it on your left you know like this carabiner you would want to feed it through the other side but just play with it because one side it'll work one way it won't there you go free ascender and Prusik tender because you've already got it on your rope so come down Bring the tag end through. Here we go. One more time. Right up. One-handed operation. Okay. Hope that helps you.